Oh, yeah! He's in room and knocks him over. What an over from Dooley. He gets Faf, he can't believe it. Very good bowling from Dooley. His length and his line control were, were so good that whole over. Yes, he, he is a little bit unorthodox in his run-up and, and, and what he offers, but what he did do is he executed his plan. He made his length very, very tough to hit. Faf looking to create room, looking for that over pitch delivery the offside, but Dooley just holds his nerve and holds it very, very well. Yeah, you could see Faf a couple of balls before, just motioning that he's bowling into the pitch, into the pitch, so he wanted to create that opportunity to go offside, but don't leave the stumps. These spinners often say that in this format, don't leave the stumps. For, so for all the weirdness of action, he's an effective bowler. Faf goes for 32, 1 for 44. To, to a left-handed batter where typically you talk about the matchup not quite being there, but that's been the, the key that, to Dooley's success. Uh, just that length, back of a length, hard to, to come down to. They're looking to sit back and hurt, and just enough spin coming into the stumps as well. It's a great shout into the sixth over. Three for 51. Paddy boy. Two for five, Dooley, and the Scorchers who were just humming along at no wicket for 44. And now three for 51, and Matt Wade, Paddy Dooley you want to make has back in? the game. Hobart Hurricanes desperate for a wicket. Oh! Catch it! Catch Shouts it! of catch it. Yeah! And taken, he gets a wicket with his first delivery. He's got three. He's big breakthrough. He's been so good tonight, Paddy Dooley, and it's it's great captaincy from Matty Wade, recognizing that he's the bowler that's on tonight. You know, typically you you go to your Ellis at the end, shut up Khan the ace, but his length control has been super tonight, Paddy Dooley. He deserves the wickets that he's, he's got. Big wickets at crucial stages for his team and it, it brings them right back into the game. Hard to get to if you're, if you're thinking about using the We've seen that some of the school bowlers hard to get down because he's so quickly into the pitch and veering it down there. Absolutely right. Been a good inning, so top class knock. He would like to have finished it and be there at the end. Joss English, 62 from 37, is quite good. 5 for 137. Saw Agar coming, sensed it, held his length back a little bit slower than the previous delivery, and, and it's just those subtle variations that he's been so good on, and particularly again that length, just beating Agar all ends up. And we didn't get it in the review for LBW, but we got it the next ball, and geez, he's pumped. Control of length, and that had to be premeditated because that was nowhere near going to be full enough to come down the track to. So Ashton Agar will look back at that and say that was a little bit soft. He goes without scoring six for one, three, seven. Yeah,